Today we are going to learn about the indexing pattern of cubic crystal. What is crystal indexing? The procedure of indexing is used to give reflection indices, or HKL, to the peaks in the diffraction data. Once certain peaks have received a sufficient number of reflection indices, the unit cell can be calculated, or refined, as was covered in the previous section on unit cell refining. Crystal indexing is used to determine the unit cell's dimensions as well as which image peak lies where in reciprocal space. As a result of indexing, the crystal symmetry and unknown element can be discovered. How to determine the crystal structure by indexing using ratio concepts? First, by combining the d-spacing equation and Bragg's equation will give, lambda equals to 2a sin theta over square root of h squared plus k squared plus l squared. This equation can be used to determine whether the cubic crystal structure is BCC or FCC. By squaring both sides and solving for sin squared theta, we obtain the following equation. However, since the lambda can be obtained from XRD machine and A is a lattice constant, we can eliminate these quantities by the ratio of two sin squared theta values as S, which is as the following equation. Note that, to use this equation to find crystal structure either BBC or FCC, the Miller indices or the first two sets of diffraction are used to obtain ratio values. So, to determine the crystal structure based on sin squared theta values is when the ratio values equals to 0.5, the unknown is BBC and when equals 0.75, the unknown is FCC. How to find crystal structure of unknown material? Use formula sin square theta 1 divide with sin square theta 2. If we get 0.5, it will give you BCC while 0.75, it will give you FCC structure. To understand further detail, let's do this question. For this question, to obtain the cubic structure, we need to compare the first two angles. If we get our value as 0.5, our element must be BCC. To determine the lattice constant, we need to use the lattice formula as shown in the slide. From the lattice constant value, we can determine the element. For this example, the lattice constant, we obtain is 0.3184 nanometers, which is the aluminium lattice constant. How to determine the crystal structure using eight columns? The eight column procedure is the sequence to follow in order to index and identify the unknown element by identifying all the given data. Firstly, we need to identify the two theta peaks and then determine sin squared theta in degrees. For the third, fourth, and fifth columns, we need to calculate the ratio of sin squared theta divided by sin squared theta with a minimum value among the given data and multiply it by 1, 2, and 3. Next, choose the equation result that gives h squared plus k squared plus l squared as an integer and speculate on hkl. Finally, compute the constant by multiplying sin squared theta by h squared plus k squared plus l squared. The eighth column entry needs to be identical so that the entire process is validated. That's all from us.